This is SJ Talks for Life coming back at you with another video. It is May 4th, 2022. Beautiful Saturday afternoon up here in Michigan and nice and warm. Warm, but it's not too cold. It's not too hot and it's not humid. Perfect weather out here sitting on my porch in my, ch my rocking chair. And I was uh, thinking about, um, actually I was going to do another video, but I can't remember what that topic was going to be because I didn't write it down. <clears throat> Sometimes when I don't write things down, I'll forget them, you know. But I was <clears throat> thinking about um, watching some stuff, videos on YouTube, and actually I had this topic on my list one of my old lists that I had compiled. So I've been meant to do this topic, but then just didn't know I had it on my list and just didn't know when I was going to do it. But I was thinking about toxic moms. I was marinating on toxic moms. And, um, you know, just thinking about the reasons, like, some of these black men that hate black women and was kind of just marinating um, and thinking about some of the reasons that black men hate black women. And um, I mean, not all black men, I don't mean to say all, some, some black men, not saying all black men, let me correction, um, because I know not all black men hate us, but um, some black men um, hate black women. And, <laughs> a lot of it has to do with the fact that they had a toxic mom. And I was marinating on that. And I was thinking about how um, some of these mothers, um, they, I asked my sons, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I asked my sons, was I, was I a bee? When, when you guys were growing up, was I a bee? <laughs> the bee word. <laughs> hey, I just, I cut right to the chase. I just cut right to the chase. And um, they said, no. They said, my youngest son, my, my youngest son said that his friends were couldn't believe how, um, they, said they couldn't believe how, they, they, his friends claimed that they never hear, heard me yell. They never heard me yell. And uh, he was like, no, I mean, you, 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 he said, compared to some of my friends' moms, he said, you was excellent, mom, compared to some of my friends' moms. <laughs> In my older cell, you wasn't that bad. Because <laughs> there's 10 years between my sons, so my oldest my oldest son's perception of me and my youngest son's perception of me. And plus, by the time my, my youngest son came around, um, once he turned five, I started studying with the witnesses. And so after I became, you know, a Christian um, and started serving God, then if I was a certain way before that, I made changes. So both of, it, both of them have... Both of them say I was a good mom, but my young, younger son said that you were great, you know, and everything. My friends said that you, they never heard you yell and that you that I, I was nothing like their moms. And <laughs> my oldest son said, uh, you wasn't that bad. <laughs> there were some other factors involved in that, but I digress. But anyway, um, <laughs> but um, I know it's extremely difficult being a single mother. Um, you know, um, you know, because the youngest said, you know, you would get you would get frustrated at times, you get irritated sometimes, you know, and stuff like that. And I know being a single mother is extremely difficult. And it's very difficult as a single mother um, to not take your frustrations out on your children. You're like, whatever frustrations that you're dealing with, 
Um, you have to try. You have to really, as a mother, you have to really make a conscious effort to not take them out on your children. And so, um, and I think I was guilty of that at certain times, at certain times, but I tried to make a conscious effort to not do that. But I think there were times when I was probably, it, it's easy to do. When you're a single mother, it's easy to do. And if you, if you're not, you have to be really, really conscious of it. And you really, really have to make a conscious effort to not take things out on your kids. Like, make sure that, you know, you're not getting, going off on them and getting angry at them because of external things, of external things that you're dealing with. Like, sometimes I would go through certain things at work and then I would come home and I think I would be mad, when I'd be angry when I came home because of some stuff that went down on the job. And so that's, that's it, 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 probably everybody's guilty of that at one time or another. Um, but you have to try really hard to, as a mother, you have to try really hard to not take those burdens and everything and frustrations and things like that and dump them off on your children. And I think a lot of women are guilty of that. I think a lot of women... Um, um, have anger, they, they're mad at the daddy, they're mad at the fathers, if, 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 particularly if you're a single mother and you're raising your children alone and um, without the uh, benefit of um, having a good co-parenting relationship with the father, um, and the, fa or the father just disappeared altogether, he's just not there. Um, I had to, had to endure that with my youngest son and um, it does make you mad. You're angry about it. and um, But I think some women have the tendency to take it out on their, their children. You know, and that's where um, the mistakes that a lot of black women make, and probably some white women too, um, is that they um, take their anger and frustrations out on their children. And they take the anger and frustrations out on their children. And some, you know, some, some black women, this baby calling the kids names or cussing them out. And um, I know I had a friend that, uh, well, some of the stuff that she used to say to her kids. It's like, it's like what? <laughs> and, um, you know, some mothers, they cuss the kids out. Um, and they call them names. And they be mad at the father and be angry at the father because he's not there or they had a bad relationship or whatever the situation is. And then they take it out on the children, and particularly our black sons. And I guess mothers have to be careful when you're raising black sons um, to not do that. Um, <clears throat> they really got to be careful. But a lot of mothers, they do that. And then they they tell the sons, well, you're going to be just like your father. And that's the worst thing in the world. And that was one thing, one of the things I vowed to never do. Um, because they're not their father. They're not their father. Um, no matter how bad you think their father was, that they're not their father. So that's the worst thing a woman can do is tell their son, um, um, you're, going, you're, just like your, you're just like your daddy. You ain't going to be no good just like and. It be actually becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Sometimes it becomes a self-fulfilling for proph prophecy, and the young man actually grows up to be just like the father. So I know I, I I used to I used to reverse that, and I used to tell both of my sons, "You're a good man. You're a good man." I used to tell both of them that when they were younger, "You are a good man," and and I, I used to tell them that all the time that they were a good man you're smart and stuff like that and sure enough they both grew up to be good men <laughs> and so you have to speak as mothers we have to speak life we have to speak life on our children you have to speak life on your children and you have to tell give them positive reinforcement because a lot of their confidence their confidence building up their confidence a lot of that's going to come from you as a as a mother well, as a mother, you got the bulk of it. You you actually have the bulk of that that responsibility of, of of building up their confidence because if they don't have the other parent in their life, then you're the only you know 
um, maybe other members of the family may may um, that love them may say positive things to them, but it's your primary responsibility as a mother if you're the only um, um, you know steady influence in their life to speak life on that child and, and, and help that child build their confidence and their self-esteem. A lot of their self-esteem and confidence is going to come from you as, as the mother. Um, if the father's not there, that's your primary. And so you, because of that, as a mother, you have to be careful of what you say to your children. And you, you, you have to uh, make sure that you're not, like, you know, some mothers that talk about the children's looks or talk about their hair and their looks and that's the, and that's the worst thing that's another worst thing that you could do you you cannot talk about like the the colorism issue that we have in the black community like some mothers are if the child is dark you know some mothers will say talk about the fact that they're too dark and uh, which is terrible which is horrible it's the worst thing that you could do to a child is talk about their, their their skin color and act as if it's not attractive or it's ugly, you know. Or you this mothers will say all kinds of stuff to kids, you know. Um, you know, they call them ugly or they talk about their hair or um, those are all that all those things are no nos as a mother. There's never ever ever attack your child's looks. Never ever call them ugly because of their skin tone or their hair or, or, and there's some mothers that actually do that, and it what it do is, for a boy and a girl it it was literally ruin the child's self esteem, you know this totally ruin the child's self esteem and child grows up to have, uh, uh, having a very low self worth value, thinking that they're unattractive and. And I think that's a lot has a lot to do with why some of these women be running out here getting all these cosmetic procedures and then they go overboard with it because it had a lot to do with their parents when they were growing up. You know, their moms, not just the mother, could have been the father too. Who knows? And, you know, the mothers, you know, talked about their looks and you can't do that with children. You, you know, you, you can't talk about saying negative things about their parents because, well, half of them is you. So if you if you're talking about if you saying you telling them that they're ugly or certain things about them is ugly, well half of them is you. So you you talking about yourself, <laughs> and then the other half is the other parent. Well, you hooked up with the other parent, so <laughs> that that's a reflection on you. Like everything you negative you say to them about their appearance, okay, that's a reflection on on you. You know they're half of you. <laughs> that's crazy. So some parents would do that, and then there's some parents who, I can say, you know, taking, you know, they're mad at the other parent. The mothers be mad at the fathers for not being there or be, you know, um, a bad, what they perceive as a bad person. And then they take it out on the child. And that's the worst thing a mother can do. It's not the child's fault. It's not the, the child's fault that uh, you hooked up with the wrong man. You know that it ain't that child's fault that you hooked up with the wrong man. You know, y'all y'all made the decision to lay down and make the child. You know, it's not the child's fault. All of a sudden, I don't hardly get cars coming past my house, and then as soon as I come out here and make a video, it'd be fifty million cars coming past here. <laughs> Cause I live on a very quiet street. I'll be sitting out here just sitting on the porch and just be be wanting a car to come by the house. <laughs> Don't be hardly no cars coming by. As soon as I come out here and do a video, be 50 million cars coming past here. <laughs> make it make sense. But anyway, but just, uh, you know, and I think that's part of the reason why some of these black men hate black women because, um, you know, they got into bad relationships, but I think a lot of it has to do, some of them had toxic moms, you know. They had mothers that um, um, took whatever issues that they were having and um, all their frustrations and their anger 
they took it out on their child. And that's the worst thing a mother can do. Is it very frustrating to be a single mother? It, ex, absolutely. It, it, it's very frustrating to be a single mother. Um, I can't even count how many times I was frustrated as a single mother. Um, it, it makes you mad. Uh, it's very frustrating. It makes you mad. All those things. When you're a single mother, you have all those emotions. But it's not okay to take it out on your children. It's not their fault. It's not their fault you hooked up with their dad. And you hooked up with the wrong one. <laughs> they have nothing to do with that. They didn't. You have to remember, your children didn't ask to be born. They didn't ask to be born. So that's the worst thing a mother can do is dump all her frustrations and her anger out on her kids. And then unfortunately, some mothers, they go as far as to, to hurt their children and abuse their children, abuse them emotionally and mentally, but they also abuse them physically because of their anger. And if you feel like you got anger issues as a mother, you need to seek counseling Seek professional help. Seek professional help as a mother. If you feel like you're dealing with anger issues and you're taking things out on your children, then you need to seek therapy and seek counseling. Get into some anger management, parenting classes. Nothing wrong with taking parenting classes. Um, I wish I had it. Took some when I was raising my kids. But you know what taught me a lot is when I started working at the daycare. When I worked at, when I started working at the daycare, I learned a lot about um, interacting with young children and how to talk to them and um, I learned a lot of stuff from when I worked at the daycare believe it or not when I started working at the daycare I learned a lot about um, interacting with young children and um, as a mother it does it does teach you some things you know um, but not everybody has an opportunity to work in a daycare so um, you know you could take um, parenting classes, uh, anger management, do therapy, uh, pray, read your Bible. All those things are helpful. And so you can learn how to um, not take things out on your children. You can learn how to manage your anger and not take those things out on your children. And, and then you can, um, and they, they have books out there too. They have self-help books out there that you can read. Um, there's another one. They be playing music too. They have self books out help books that you can read, and it, and it and it teaches you how to be an effective parent. And what's some of the things that it's not okay to say to your children, or some of the things that are okay to say to your kids. So, um, if you really really love your children and you're really interested in their emotional well-being, their self-esteem. And their emotional well-being, um, then you, you will make a conscious effort to make changes. I mean, whatever issues that I was having, um, but of course, I started getting a closer relationship with God and stuff like that. So that was very instrumental for me. Not that I was terrible before that, because I was really good before. I was I was good I was good before that. But once I started growing my relationship with God, I became even a better. Um, mom and, and 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 learned to be slow to anger and um, started learning, you know, um, working on anger management, learning on not taking the frustrations out on the children and things like that. So it's just something that a mother has to make a conscious effort. It really has to be a conscious effort as a mother. You have to really make a conscious effort to um to not do those things and um it's hard it's easier said than done you know because sometimes women do those things and they don't even realize that they're doing it you know you know sometimes they're you know yelling at the kids as i know a lot of times my sons would be like mom you're yelling at us and i mean i think i was yelling at you you know so sometimes they would say i was yelling and i didn't even realize i was yelling you know and so sometimes you just you just be mad at other things. You just frustrated, just just frustrated, and then you know you then you yell it out on 
on your yell at your, at your kids and and then sometimes you don't even realize you're yelling at them because you're frustrated or whatever but sometimes you just as a single mother you're just darn right angry you know so just having the, the burdens of having all that responsibility placed on you it does make you mad but um you can't take it out on the children and that's the worst thing you can do as a mother is to take it out on the children because the children will grow up to resent you and and and, and particularly if it's a, a young black male he can wind up growing to resent all black women based on your actions so that's that's deep that's deep you know um because i know some of these these bashes on here they they talk about their mama you know and and uh when they be talking about their mama you can tell they have a toxic relationship with their mama and so um it's not it's I, I personally think that boys are more sensitive than girls. I think that boys are more... Hit me up in the comment section if you agree with me. I, I happen to think that boys are more sensitive than girls. Um, girls are, are more mentally stronger than boys are. Um, I think boys are a little bit more easier to be scarred, em emotionally damaged. Um, so um, I'm learning a lot about the male psyche through my sons. And I know through, with boys, you have to be really careful how you talk to them. You have to be really careful how you're talking to boys. And I think it's a lot of women that, and girls, but boys are really sensitive. Um, and I think it's a lot of women, a lot of black women don't understand that. They don't understand it. That, um, you know, you have to be careful how you, you're talking to, um, or some, and some of them don't know how to talk to their sons. They don't know how to talk to their sons. They may not know how to talk to their significant other. You know, and that's where anger management comes in at. You know, reading your Bible. Um, try to develop the fruitage of the spirit. Anger management. Getting therapy. Getting counseling. Finding out why are you so angry. And learning how to manage those emotions. You know, so it's, it's women have to be really careful. Single mothers have to be really careful to not dump a lot of stuff on your kids. You can't, you know, be mad at the child because you're frustrated with the father because it's not the child's fault that, you know, our, our children, you know, you have to love on your children because they're, they're not children for very long. They're children for a short period of time. They're adults a lot longer than they are children, so it's important to show our children love. Show them love. Show them affection. Hug them. And that's one thing I did with my sons, you know. Um, I did show them affection. Tell them that you love them. Hug them. And, and some mothers don't do that. And they don't show that, give that, their children that affection. But it's very, very important um, for all children, you know, to get that affection from their, from their mother. Because, you know, um, as, a, as mothers, we're supposed to be the nurturer. And sometimes when you're, well, when you're a single mother, you have to be the nurturer and the disciplinarian. And so it's very difficult to, I used to find it very hard to, to balance that, you know. Well, it's not natural being a single mom. I used to find it very difficult to balance that, you know. You know, because you you do have to be the nurturer, but at the same time, because you you're the only parent, you have to be the disciplinarian at times, and so you you have to know how to. That's not easy, and so that's when parenting classes will probably come into handy. We're learning how to do those things as a mom. Ain't a bad idea, but pride gets in the way of a lot of black people. And I'm, I'm going to actually do another video going more into detail about therapy and the importance of getting therapy as black people. Um, because I decided to seek a therapist. Um, I'm going to do another video going more into that. But um, a lot of black folks let pride get in the way and they won't get therapy. And then they still be walking around with all these issues particularly if you're a single mom and you're dumping stuff off on your kids and then the children grow up dys dysfunctional, they grow up toxic, they grow up being hateful and mean and all these things and so that's something that you got to nip it in the bud, you got to fix it um, 
when they're when their kids are younger, you have to fix it. Um, make a conscious effort to fix it. If you don't fix it, then yes, the child will grow up and have some issues. And so this is something to think about. Um, hit me up in the comment section on um, what your opinions are on toxic moms. Um, do you think that a lot of this black female hatred that some of these black men have, do you think that that stems from a lot of that has to do with them having toxic moms? Hit me up in the comment section let me know. Um, but I do, I know, I heard some of them bring up their mom and talk about certain things with their mom. So that put two and two together. Yeah, they had a toxic relationship with their mom. So um, let me know if you were a toxic mom and you made changes or you know somebody in your family that was, that's a toxic mom or you have a friend that's a toxic mom or if you are a black man yourself and you had a toxic mom, sound off in the comment section. I want to hear from you too. Um, but it's not okay to hate all black women because of what your mama did. It ain't all black women's fault because of what your mama did. And so I think men that black men that had toxic moms, and so they need to they need to seek therapy and anger management because they wind up getting with women and they wind up dumping on the women because of what mom put them through. So they have to seek therapy too. But let me know if you're a black man and you had a toxic mom. Um, I, I, I want to hear from you guys, too. Okay, so... Sign off in the comment section. I need you to like, subscribe, and share. Share my videos. I'm trying to get my numbers up. So it's important for you guys to share my videos. And hit me up on TikTok. I'm on, I'm on TikTok. Under Sweet June, Sweet June 54. There's a lot of TikToks. And some of them I will put on my channel. But some of them I can't put on my channel because they have music on them. And I can't put them on here because of copyright issues. So you get, you'll get all my TikToks if you go on my TikTok. And I need you to hit that follow button when you go to TikTok. I got some cool TikToks on there. And I got some funny ones on there. So check me out on TikTok. Okay. Hit me up, and until the next video, be blessed.